Linux technology um, developed in collaboration with uh, developed by the company Idea Forge and um, under incubation uh, of IIT Bombay, incubation scheme of IIT Bombay. Um, so um, uh, with me here is the uh, chief marketing officer uh, and alumni of IIT Bombay, Amar Deep Singh, who's uh, coming all the way from Bombay for this. Um, this discussion and talk is aimed at uh, a tribute to what we did for Uttarakhand in terms of actual rescue operations and being able to identify and save people, many people, I don't know the number. So, uh, and you would have read about it in the newspapers. So, uh, I thought it's appropriate that uh, a right kind of uh, tribute is given to them at IHC. And I'm happy they accepted the invitation and we could do this. We would also like to uh, explore this opportunity to carry it further because most of us uh, live and uh, work here in the NCR that such similar man-made and natural disasters also would affect us which had come to a later point. So uh, how do we prevent those? We are not very eager. Everything's not hunky-dory in NCR either and I'll go into the reasons why why our lifeline was threatened and where uh, they can possibly help. Okay. Um, this is a photo shot from, should we dim the lights or? Yeah. This is a photo shot <coughs> from our uh, habitat uh, resource center and uh, I don't know how many people will identify it, but uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and explain a bit. This is from the time when India used to be a golden bird. And uh, this region was called Shah Jahanabad. It's the world city. And uh, it's almost uh, 150 years plus back. And this is recreated by two researchers from University of Bonn. You can... Uh, See this area around here, which is the red fort. This cursor does it move on the thing? Okay. Um, those those green patches are Chandni Chowk, what used to be uh, also called the Moonlight Square. Um, I don't. Today is not so identifiable on the ground. And uh, towards the river Jamna is the red fort. And this is an example of why India used to be the golden world and everybody would want to come and conquer us because it's an excellent piece of engineering technology and also integrated with culture, prose, poetry. Uh, and it used to excel and therefore we were known the world over. Right? Um, in fact, just to give you some small examples, this Redford area used to have its own version of air conditioning running at that point of time. And uh, also uh, when you would have a darbar and uh, this poet would uh, compose uh, his poetry or gazal or whichever form. And if it was a hit on the way back, people would assemble at Chandni Chowk and recite it back to him. So the response time was faster than what today's gizmos can do. So we were that culturally that superior at that point of time, evidence shows. Another piece of, I don't have to explain you, engineering masterpiece actually implemented. We may create a lot of masterpieces in our minds, but to go ahead and implement it and uh, draw attention from all over the world is a different ball game. When uh, we come across uh, innovations like this and young engineers take the plunge, they take the risk and they waste a lot of time, energy, effort and make something useful and beautiful, it 
revives the hope that it's these set of young Indians which will make India regain its old lost glory. So we kind of view you uh, that you take this forward and uh, bring it someday to a level where we can document and show it to the next generation. Okay, uh, I'm going to touch upon the subject which is most relevant to NCR later once our video is done. Uh, with his uh, video on actual rescue operations of Uttarakhand and uh, several applications. Uh, we in the Green Shakti Foundation, which is aligned with, uh, has common objectives of India Habitat Center, are pretty concerned about improving quality of life uh, right now at NCR and hopefully it gets replicated. So that aspect I'll come to later. Uh, now what I'm going to do is ask Avadip to uh, come in and uh, start the show. Good evening everyone. 